Hey, to connect Oppo A85 G into the Android Auto, first of all, you'll have to go into the settings, open connection and the sharing. And now go right here for the Android Auto. Of course, you have to be connected into the Wi-Fi or mobile data because right now you will be redirected into the Google Play Store where you have to update Android Auto. So click here. Now you just have to wait for this uh, updating. As you can see, it's quite uh, simple and really quick. We've got the loading, now we've got the installation, and we can go back. Now, click here one more time. And as you can see, we have to click to connect a car. And now we've got two methods. So we can connect an USB cable to start. So all we have to do is just to plug our phone into our vehicle Android Auto compatible USB port. But if you don't have one, you can use the second method, the wireless method. And by the way, if you wonder what kind of the cable you can use, simply cable with the USB-C input and the USB-A or also USB-C, it actually depends on what kind of the extension of the USB port you have in your car. So for example, you can use like, let me just show you. Okay, I don't have it, but you know, just simple uh, USB-C cable, like for example, this one. Then if you want to use the wireless method, you can just click here. And now you have to press and hold the voice command button to start the setup. And it's actually available in some 2021 or newer cars. And this smartphone will be visible in your car screen as the Oppo A80 5G. So you will have to right now click on this on in your car and you will get the pop-up notification on your Oppo and you will have to accept this. But also you can connect using the Bluetooth. So now, if your car supports the wireless Android Auto, you can pair with phone the car. So click to pair a car and now you'll be able to find your car on available devices list. So we can just select your car, accept on the screen, notification, and then you will be connected. And after this, you can just find some setup screen. So we can customize this, uh, you know, launcher. So some apps, you can move Google Maps, messages, phone, settings. You can change position if you want, like this. You can even remove some apps if you don't use them. You can change the order from custom or alphabetic one. And yeah, that's how it looks right now. Please subscribe and see you in the next one.